Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to keep your Let's Encrypt SSL certificate automatically up to date and pretty much never have to worry about SSL certificates for your website again. Now, if you're not familiar, typically the SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt only lasts three months. Now that means every three months you would have to log into your web server via SSH, issue some commands to get a SSL certificate renewal, and you know repeat that process every three months or you know four times a year. Now with the power of technology, specifically a cron job, we can have these commands executed on a regular basis so that whenever there is an SSL certificate renewal available, it will automatically happen for us without us ever having to lift a finger. So if that's something you're interested in, let's take a look and get started with this tutorial. Okay, so this is a once and done thing. This is something that we're gonna do today and you'll never have to do again, hopefully. So first thing you wanna do is SSH into your server. So I'm gonna be working at my website called site2.xyz. If you're on Windows, you can use PuTTY to do the same exact thing that we're doing here. And now I am logged into my server. So the first thing I want to do is to show you how this command works. And actually, if you haven't seen my previous video, um, I have installed a SSL certificate using Lesson, Let's Encrypt for this specific website. So if you don't have that already, you're gonna have to do that. But um, once you do that, you'll have a Let's Encrypt SSL configuration file for your website, whether that's WordPress or not, doesn't matter. So that's gonna be, if you're, in Engi if you're using Nginx, that'll be in the ETC Nginx directory. In Apache, it'll be in the ECT Apache 2 directory. Okay, so right now we do have an SSL certificate installed for my website, Site2, and you can see that here. It is um, expiring on Sunday, November 15th, 2020. Okay, so that's important information because when we execute the cert bot renew command on the command line, and we're just doing this for demonstration purposes, it's gonna come back and say that no renewals were attempted because like we just said, the certificate expires November 15th. Now, Let's Encrypt allows you to update your SSL certificate within 30 days of expiration. So because today is August 17th, we won't be able to execute the SSL renewal until 30 days before November 15th, so right around October 15th or 16th. Um, the same con, like this will happen at an interval when we install it via a cron tab, and that's what we'll do next. Um, but I just want to show you that when we do use cron tabs to run this on a regular basis, we want to suppress this output. We don't want this output to uh, show up. And you can do that with the dash N flag for non-interactive and the dash Q flag for quiet. So when we execute that same exact command that we just executed up here, we won't see any of that output show up, but we're still logging that to the back end. And I know a lot of you won't care about this, but um, if something does go wrong, you can look at the logs in var log let's encrypt. And then there's a let's encrypt log in there. And you'll see if you go very, all the way down to the bottom of this file, um, just a few minutes ago uh, at 2252.34, we checked for the SSL certificate and we can um, confirm that that time matches up with our server time right here. Okay, so now that we got all that out of the way, how do we actually schedule this command to run on a regular basis? You can do that very, very easily with a cron tab and you can ex access your cron tabs by typing in cron tab dash E and it might prompt you for what editor you want to use. In this case, I'm using the Vim basic editor. Um, and if you need a tutorial with Vim, I'll link that in the video as well. So here we already have one existing cron tab. If you're new to cron tabs, I'll do my best to explain how they work. So this looks kind of funky, but uh, if you want something to run every minute of every day, it's gonna look like this, star, 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 okay? But you can actually add other values to um, each of these columns repre represents a different uh, I guess, quantity of time. So the first column here is the minute, 
and then the hour, and then the day, the month, and the week. So we can technically execute our command every minute, but I think that's overkill. I'm gonna say, let's do it every week. I'm gonna pick 6 a.m. on Sunday. So um, for that, we would say zero, six, so that's 6 a.m on Sunday, Sunday is the first day of the week, according to cron jobs. So that would be the zeroth day. Uh, Monday would be one, Tuesday would be two. And if for whatever reason you want to do it Monday or Sunday and Monday, you can do something like that. But we're just gonna do every Sunday at 6 a.m. We're going to execute that command that we were looking at. So it's cert bot renew dash n non-interactive dash q for quiet. So we can save this. Um, if you're using Vim, escape, shift, colon, WQ, and that will say cron tab, installing a new cron tab. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. I know some of these topics, especially this one, is a little bit complicated because you're working on the command line, but um, you know that's what my channel is all about. I'm here to help you with SSL certificates, website hosting, email, everything in between. So uh, yeah, definitely don't hesitate. And especially if you like this content, consider subscribing to this channel. And if you do, I will see you in the next one.